What's up everyone, it's Trainer Dell, and in this video I have for you my Coma Cosmo Serpent EDH deck profile. Uh, a deck that when Callheim first came out, I definitely wanted to build around. Um, and like, I just never got around to it. Um, I thought of like, yo, I can get that AC deck, um, take pieces from there, get Coma, and get a few things. And like, Strixhaven is now out, so it took me a while. But I kind of put this together, um, having a little fun with it, honestly. Like, I'm not I'm not the biggest, like, green slash blue player. Um, I play a lot of, like, in my Joyride deck, blue is more just because that's her color. And um, I guess I, play, I started playing a lot of more blue because of, like, Yuriko. Um, but, like, I'm an aggro style player. And to me, this is kind of like, I got to... It's such a high mana cost at seven, but once you get there and the fact that it can't be countered, it becomes super aggressive. And that's what I like. So in a way, it's like a Simic Colors. It's still about ramp and draw and stuff, but Coma's abilities are freaking sick. If you see right there, it um can't be countered. At the beginning of each upkeep, you create a 3-3 blue serpent creature a token named Coma's Coil, and then you sack another serpent to either tap a target permanent and then its activated abilities can't be activated this turn so that's really cool and then coma cosmo serpent gains indestructible until end of turn so that's really cool it's a beautiful art so yeah put coma over here on tamias and kind of just work through the cards um I'm like trying the new format of how i'm gonna do edh decks which is like creatures usually then ramp and or we'll see so we got the creatures lanowar elves because lanowar elves arbor elf and finhorn elves lotus cobra obviously there's the the other one elvish mystic i couldn't find any extras but you know that i don't know if i'd throw it in here maybe swap out arbor elf but yeah lotus cobra pretty cool burnish heart for it, it maybe burnish heart should be in the ramp side but whatever reclamation sage it's rex sage ramanap excavator so we can throw away land and still play them eternal witness yavi my elder spark double a great card to use with coma obviously um rashmi eternity's crafter i wasn't gonna put this in the deck but like i noticed like as much draw as I have, I was drawing so many land cards and, and cards that just help me draw. So I'm like, you know what? I need a creature on board. I need something else that can help me draw, but actually through a creature, like consistently. Thunder Snapper, which is just the turtle. You could be easy takeout, honestly, because I don't run too many big, big creatures. Mole Drifter. Tatiova. Benthic Druid. Um, yeah, just the land. I'm, I'm not playing the AC. You're... Awesome. Like obviously, I said I, I I took the AC deck, but I'm not playing it only because like I traded it in <laughs> to, to to pay for some cards. Um, Merkfield Legion, another card that probably an easy takeout if you really want to. I just think it's cool to untap all green and or blue creatures, so like I can swing with all the tokens, and then you know they'll be they'll basically be like instead of three three four four tokens, and then they can untap to help me block and stuff. So. That's why it's in here, but another easy takeout. This card, I think, with Coma is crazy good. Archef of Imagination. All your creatures have flying, and creatures your opponents um, control lose flying and can't even have flying. So now you just got, like, giant coils in the air. Um, so, yeah. That's <laughs> crazy. Um, Burn it. Sun's Avatar, every turn you're going to be making a token. So every turn you're going to be gaining at least three life. And if you got the, what is that? The Merkfield Liege, that's just another, like four life. Nezahal, Nez Primal Tide, also a card that can't be countered. Um, mainly here because the no maximum hand size thing and whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell draw card, I don't really, really ever do the... Uh, fourth ability which is the discard three cards and exile and then return it but i guess if there's gonna be a board wipe or whatever it's it's there and then simic sky swallower flying trample and shroud just just a big simic creature honestly 
another card you can easily take out if you want more synergy, but it was just part of the deck and stuff. And I think in its own way, like if I get that down, it's still pretty cool. All right, so this should be the ramp section in a sense. I mean, there are ramp cards in there and there are draw cards within the creatures, but these are like the, the dedicated area, which would be like ramping growth, far seek, cultivate, Kodama's reach, you know, soul ring, Simic Signet, Talisman of Curiosity, Arcane Signet, Mind Sun, and Commander Sphere. You don't need you don't need all all like the like uh, mana rocks because you know we do a lot of land ramp too and some creature ramp. And then these are like the in betweens. These both draw <laughs> and can help ramp. So Explore, Growth Spile, and Urban Evolution. They all basically help you draw a card. So I put it more in the draw section, but it is an in between because it, they allow you each. To play an extra land so that's also kind of ramp and then like the more dedicated draw section opt preordain deliberate i like this instant um compulsive research um just discard the lands because we got a lot of ways to get lands frantic search hunter's insight oh with coma if you can get coma and hit it through or whatever unblocked then you know you're gonna draw six cards at least um but also the the just using this with the um coil like three mana draw three pretty that's still totally cool chemistry chemistry's insight draw two cards and then obviously jump start discard a card and you can um play it again and harmonize because it's harmonized and well we need to draw some cards this would be like the removal um area so negate it's negate <laughs> arcane denial peel from reality i might switch this for something else um probably another counter spell or whatnot disdainful stroke i think uh, i just can't find that where that card's at but that's what i would change this for into the royal also a way to draw cards but get something off I do like that it's non-land permanent. Like, so if this was like non-land permanent and just not just creatures, I think it'd be a lot better. But you know, into the royal counter spell because it's counter spell, mana drain because it's a mana drain, raven form one of my new favorite cards from like Kaldheim. I just think it's cool. Just and I just I just like the the look of it. Fierce guardianship, cancel, beast within. Whelming Wave and Force of Will. I mean, just gotta protect Coma, really. Coma doesn't, other than Hexproof, oh no, I'm sorry, Indestructible. So if it gets targeted and non-destruction targeting, like it's it's just like Coma's kind of hurt there and it already costs so much, so we gotta protect it with all the counter spells and stuff. Um, These are like <laughs> the rules. So just enchantments just to help further the game state elemental bond to keep drawing especially like with coma this and coma on the board every time you make a token you're, you're drawing a card arcane laboratory a way to kind of slow down opponents um each player can't play more than one spell each turn you're fine with that they can play something you can counter whatever or if you need to or you can just let it go through and you're just making you, you're constantly making tokens anyway so you don't really need to play much spells Hadama's climb, Hadana's climb to uh, put counters, but also then make Coma flying and st way stronger. Primal Empathy, just another way to draw cards if Coma is like the, sh the strongest thing, which usually it is. But if it isn't, then you get a plus one, plus one on Coma. Wilderness Reclamation, just to put all your lands and untap them. Reconnaissance Mission, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, and we're going to make so many tokens and they're all going to be attacking. Leyline of Anticipation, just to play things at flash speed. And then the utility cards. I would play, I play Snakeskin Veil. Um, just give it Hexproof. I think Blossoming Defense is also something really good, but it's just the one, the one green mana for me. Regrowth to just get something back from the graveyard. Any target card, that's the cool part, just any target card. Swift Foot Boots, Dust Boots. You can switch it for Lightning Greaves. And Second Harvest, to, it's an instant. I like this card because it's an instant, and for each token you control, you put a token 
onto the battlefield that's a copy of that permanent. So like one time I had like six coma tokens and I played this instant speed and had like 12. So <laughs> it's, it's crazy good. And the land base, you know, just it's whatever. I'm not going to say like it's great. Um, green and blue lands are pricey. So there's a lot of basic lands here, especially since we land ramp and whatnot. So basic lands aren't too, too bad for this deck. So yeah, that's the Mycoma Cosmo Serpent deck. Uh, I don't know if I'll like upgrade it so far from here. I think for me, at least it's fine where it is. I know I got the proxy counter spells and whatnot in there because those are in other decks. Um, so yeah, it's fine as it is for me. All right. Thank you so much for watching. All right. Peace.